Okay, so we got the front of the frame in. Uh, just put it in, uh, didn't weld anything yet. And lining it up. So here we had to uh, bolt it down and he's going to pull it a little bit so it lines up better to the original uh, frame and then he's going to weld it uh, just a few spots just to hold it in place and then we're going to measure and make sure everything lines up. A little bit off. So here we were measuring underneath to make sure it lined up and the uh, subframe holes lined up and it was good on the driver's side but uh, the front of the bumper reinforcement it wasn't lining up so you could see the holes right there they're supposed to be lining up um, but they weren't, so we had to figure out a way to kind of bend the, the frame back so it would line up.
here we attempted to pull it so it would align better with those holes and we got it to align but it uh, also um, moved the frame rail on the driver's side even though we tried to hold it in place it still ended up moving to the side so then those holes weren't um, like to spec to measurement anymore the subframe holes so then we later realized that the issue wasn't um, just one rail was off, it was both of them had to be pushed inwards, so we were pretty much pulling it for no reason. So we uh, remeasured it after he pulled it and it was uh, off. It pulled the driver frame rail right. and the subframe bolts were off measurement. So after we pulled it to the left, we pulled it back to the right and I kept the measuring tool on the bolt uh, as he pulled it back so I could see if it was starting to move away and you could see that uh, the frame rail was starting to move away. So then we tried to pull it back to the right so it would line up again and it ended up um, warping the frame rail and ended up pushing into the frame rail so it was too much pressure. Uh, so we let go of everything and uh, we're trying to do a different thing. Here's where we realized that the frame rails needed to be pushed in, so that's what we're doing here. We're using the uh, hydraulic press to press in the frame rail. So as you guys can see, we got the subframe in. Uh, the problem was that we were measuring the diagonals and for some reason the diagonals were lining up, but the width of the subframe was not lining up. So what we ended up doing was just um, pushing each of the rails inward and then the subframe holes started to line up in all the measurements. So pretty much we were pulling it for no reason. We didn't have to. So. You gotta move it to the left or to the right? Yeah, either move it out so it lines up or move it down a little bit. So then it'll line up. So I'm trying to figure out right now. So here we're measuring uh, the diagonals for the front uh, bumper reinforcement and we had to pull the rail a little bit so it would align. 
But other than that, pretty much everything uh, was good to go on the frame. We just needed to weld everything together. So yeah, it's a pretty long process. A lot of um, measuring, welding, pulling, measuring, and measuring again to make sure everything lines up and is where it needs to be. It's a pretty tedious process. So we got most of the frame welded in. I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe for more content. See ya.